Okay, so get ready to be transported back to the medieval period. It's time for the Dragon's Affair Medieval Masquerade. It is going to be amazing by my troth, which means I promise it's going to be so amazing. <laughs> to tell us all about this exciting spring celebration that's for a great cause, I am so happy to have the president of the Saginaw Arts and Sciences Academy, a.k.a. SASA Foundation Advisory Board, Janet Nash. How are you? Good, thank you. Of course, and the principal of SASA, Rachel Reed, right here next yes, to me. How are you, Principal? I'm well. How are you? Good to see you both. Okay, this is going to be so exciting. First of all, for those who do not know about SASA, tell us a little bit about SASA. Yeah, so Saginaw Arts and Sciences Academy is part of Saginaw Public School District, and we are a gifted and talented program. Um, we have grades 6 through 12, and our students uh, choose a concentration. So um, they either focus on art, theater, music, um, English, math and science, mm -hmm. dance. So we're very unique in that way. And we're ranked um, the top high school every year, one of the top high schools yeah. in Michigan. Just talented, gifted, intelligent, <laughs> athletic students. So we'd love to hear that. Okay, so your theater department, I'm sure, is so excited about this. The Dragon's Affair is a, a Renaissance-style yes. fundraising gala. It is April 14th at the Saginaw Club. So tell us all about that. So, Jan, you want to give us a little bit of information well, about it? We had our first year yeah. of the Dragon's Affair in 2019. Okay. And we hadn't really planned on yeah. making it an every year event. Right. But before the evening was over, people were asking us to do it again the following year. Wow. And then COVID hit. Mm -hmm. So because of that and a couple of years of economic downturn, yes. we've waited. And this is the next time we're going to be doing it. Um, and we're hoping that it's every bit the success it was the last time and more. And we can see some of the pictures right there. Tell us a little bit about the format for the performances and activities that evening. So we call this a strolling event okay. and so we have different activities happening on all of our all the floors at the Saginaw Club. Okay. Um, we have alumni that have come back. They are actually professionals now that are coming back and performing for us. We have wow. students that are performing and we have a variety of just professional performers um, all the way from um, singing yeah. to magic. Um, we have Fortune tellers. I, yeah. we and have. I heard there's a costume there is contest. A costume is that contest. right? Do a lot of people dress up for this? Costumes aren't required. Okay. Um, certainly someone would feel comfortable in vis business attire or a nice dress. But yeah. um, basically, probably a third to half will come in costumes and yeah. play off the, the theme of the event just to make it that much more fun. Right. And you're talking about how it just seems like a fun way for SASA alumni and families to really get together for a celebration. Now, is it something for the entire community, would you say? It is. Yeah. Absolutely. Okay. Yes. In fact, we we want all of the community members to be part of it. Um, we have people coming from even out of state to oh. come to this event. Oh, that's exciting. Okay. So there are any parts that you all are looking forward to yourselves? I really look forward to seeing the Renaissance uh, Festival performers that are yes. professionals come. Yes. Uh, one of our alumni who lives in Kansas with her husband, mm -hmm. they perform the Renaissance Circuit in the Midwest wow. and they're flying up for the event. Saginaw is Kelsey's hometown. I love it. And so they'll be doing the Tricks of Light, which yes. is your oh, fire okay. juggling event that's Ooh. shown in your, in your uh, photos. And, yes. uh, we're really looking forward to having them come back. Oh, this is like you're really a part of this time period, which I love. Right? Tell us about the proceeds, where the pro how the proceeds are used. The proceeds support the SASA Foundation, which is a relatively new foundation as far as m m fundraising goes. Yeah. But we've given about $35,000 in grants back to the school wow. since we formed. Um, it's, in, it's in trust at the Saginaw Community Foundation. Yes. And we have that spendable part of our proceeds we can give back every year. And we support teacher and student organizational grants for academic programs at the Saginaw Arts and Sciences Academy. I love the video, how everyone's in costume and the theme. You just get, you, get, you become a part yep. of this whole time period. When and where can people get tickets and how much are they? Tickets are available at the school yes. office at okay. the Saginaw Arts and Sciences Academy. The entrance that's next to the Children's Museum okay. mm -hmm. is the one we're using during the construction time. Um, or they can go on our website at sasa.foundation and click the link and buy them through Eventbrite. 
I love it. Um, or any member of our, our advisory board also okay. sells them. They'll have very easy to do. Well, mm -hmm. thank you both for stopping by. Fare thee well, my ladies, that's for sure, until we meet again. So much fun. Thank of you. Course. Thank you very much. Please get out there and do that. Support local. Mm -hmm. We appreciate what SAS is doing. If any of you have any ideas on what you would like to see on our show, you can send them to us at WNEM-4PMNews at WNEM.com. Just use the subject 4PM News Spotlight.